New information tonight on a man killed in Idaho Springs, as well as new questions and concerns over how the Clear Creek Sheriff's Office handled that case. Last night, we told you about 57-year-old Paul Peavy, a man who bred Doberman puppies. He went missing last week and was found dead Saturday by friends. The Clear Creek County Sheriff's Department admits that they made mistakes in their initial investigation. There is no known motive, but friends say that Peavy's dogs were valuable and he may have had cash at his home. Alan Janay is your reporter in the foothills and has the latest. He was a man whose life was changed by the dogs he raised, family says of Paul Peavy. His loss continues to weigh heavily among friends in Idaho Springs. It was handled wrong in the beginning. Pickaxe pizza owner Bruce Boynton was the first to report him missing. Don't get me wrong, and I'm not trying to throw them under the bus or anything, but it's just that this could have been handled a little bit swifter and maybe more appropriate. Last Wednesday, he found the trailer where PV lived in disarray. The puppies missing. The sheriff's office didn't send anyone. Thursday they did, but a deputy did not feel there were any red flags and didn't find Peavy. Peavy's body wasn't found until Saturday, partially buried on the property, after Boynton and other community members organized a search. This was first reported to us last Wednesday. Public Information Officer Jenny Fulton said an internal investigation has yet to start on why the Sheriff's Office did not go along on Saturday. Why didn't you take part on Saturday? Um, I, I don't really know the answer to that. CBS Colorado legal analyst, former prosecutor Raj Chohan, noted the department's delays could hurt an eventual case. It, it does complicate things. It doesn't mean that the crime won't be solved, but it, it adds some difficulties. Boynton says there were about 50 people at the property when they found the body but they were cautious. Oh, yes, uh, we treated it like a crime scene. But with people there without authorities along, there could be legal arguments if it gets to trial. In that situation, you may lose valuable evidence. For instance, you may not know how many people were there when the crime was committed because a number of people have moved into the crime scene and now you've got footprints mixed up with other footprints. But friends did what they felt they had to because PV was gone and authorities had done little. And in the end, this. I wish this wouldn't have happened. For now, investigators are hinting at progress. For one thing, the sheriff's office says it won't share whether it's been able to clear a man arrested on an out-of-state warrant over the weekend. And there are potential pieces of evidence, including that Peavy had a game camera set up on his property, one of the things detectives are looking at. In Idaho Springs, I'm Alan Janae, covering Colorado First.